As a red-blooded American, I had quite a hard time when I moved to London for school. Some of the words the Brits use make no sense to me or mean something totally different in the U.S. For example, when I told my friends that I needed to change my pants before we went out, everyone looked at me very oddly because, unknown to me, pants in Britain means underwear. That was embarrassing. So I put together a quiz of 12 British words that I believe Americans wouldn't know. Before we start, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, and in the comments below, let me know what your score was. Here we go. The 12 British words Americans wouldn't know quiz. Number 1. What is the boot of a car? Is it a car door, car trunk, or car hood? It is a trunk. As they told me when I grabbed my first taxi, I put your bags in the boot. Number two. What are you feeling if you're feeling knackered? Exhausted, hungry, or happy? I thought they were saying snackered and needed a snack, but in reality, knackered means exhausted. Number three. If you're about to have a tipple, what are you about to do? Have a drink, an appetizer, or a cookie? I love a cookie, but the answer is a drink. When you're done with this quiz, go to the pub for a tipple with your mates. Number four. If you're going to the bog, where are you going? Toilet, kitchen, or backyard? I hope your backyard and kitchen are nothing like a bog. A bog is the toilet. Number five. What have you got if you have a brawly? Umbrella, broom, or cart? An umbrella, of course. In London, it is important to have a good brawly due to all the rain. Number six. What are you enjoying if you're eating candy floss? Bubble gum, cotton candy, or licorice? Candy floss is cotton candy. Some also call it fairy floss. Number seven. What is a serviette? Waitress, napkin, or spoon? A napkin, what else would it be? As mom always says, remember to always put your serviette on your lap when you're eating. Number eight. If you place your baby in a pram, where are you putting the child? car seat, crib, or baby stroller. A baby stroller. A pram is for newborn babies. A pushchair for when your baby is a little older and can sit up. A stroller is suitable for toddlers and young children. Number nine. If your hands are around a buddy, what are you holding? Your girl's backside, phone, or sandwich. I do like big buddies because I have a big appetite. A buddy is a sandwich. Number 10. What are you giving someone if you're giving them some dosh? Money, gossip, or a present? I have a friend who has a lot of dosh. He usually buys the drinks when we go out. Dosh is money. Number 11. What are you feeling if you are chuffed? Happy, sad, or mad? When I'm really chuffed, 
I like to sing the Pharrell song, Happy. To be chuffed is to be happy. Number 12. What are you doing if you're fly tipping? Dumping trash, milking a cow, or looking great. Answer is dumping trash. How did you do? Please enter your score on the comments. Thanks for playing and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you really want to make me chuffed, visit our website and follow us on your favorite social media platforms.